Hey guys, this is Pokemaniac101 and welcome back to another Minecraft snapshot video. This week we're looking at 21W03A and as you can tell we have got some pretty cool stuff to look at this week. Now the obvious highlight of this snapshot is the glow squids, which is pretty cool. Um, I did vote for the children, so um, I will always be just a little bit bitter for that, that these guys got in the game, but I will be fair. These guys are pretty cool. So they will basically just glow in the dark. However, uh, they won't actually emit any light, so you can't actually use these guys for to stop, uh, like, drown from spawning. You know, if you have, like, a little tank with these guys in it. Um, you will need some, uh, some sort of light source to keep the bad guys away. Now, if you kill one of these, um, actually, this guy's just drowning, so I'm just going to wait for this. You'll see that they drop something called a glow ink sack, which are actually pretty cool. At first glance, they basically just look like another ink sack, but they can be used for so much more. So first off, if you combine a glow ink sack with an item frame, you get what's called a glow item frame, which uh, is this one down here. Now you can tell it looks um, kind of yellowish. It's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of got this little <laughs> glowing uh, thing in the center. But the real use for this is it'll actually make items glow at nighttime, which is pretty cool. So it allows you to see your items a little bit easier. Um, now, if you want to, um, I've actually prepared a resource pack that will make the glow item frame look just like a normal item frame. So you can easily tell the difference right now. So um, this is just a little bit lighter. I think I'll actually be using this texture pack um, with the glow item frame. And you can easily tell the difference. This one's just a little bit lighter and also the item is different. Like you can just easily tell from that. Um, so if you want to use a texture pack like this, that's actually a completely viable option. And for me, I think it'll actually be the preferred option. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you can also use a glowing sack on a sign to make it glow in the dark. So again, just makes things just a little bit easier to see. And then also you can use a ink sack to revert it back. Um, you can't do that with the glow uh, item frame. So just make sure you want a glow item frame instead of the normal one and then just like with the glow item frame if you look at it during the day you won't see any difference also neither of these actually emit light so just like with the glow squid itself um, you can't actually use these for stopping mob spawns or anything now the last item in the snapshot is called the glow lichen and you can see it spawns um, in caves kind of sporadically if I just fly around you can see it just kind of spawns in patches uh, here and there so um, it shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on so you can place these on any side of a full block uh, you can't do like you know half blocks or anything like that and unlike everything else in the snapshot this actually does emit light so this uh creates a light level of seven so not quite enough to stop mobs from spawning but will allow you to see a little bit easier now you can spread these around by using bone meal on one and it'll just uh go to like a nearby block so if i just keep like doing this you'll see it's like just gradually spreads all over the place and then you can collect all these up using a pair of shears so if i just go into survival mode really quickly you'll see that if i just break these um it's not instant break like leaves or anything um it does take a little bit but that's how you collect them up so in theory these are farmable you could just have like a dispenser with like bone meal or something and then just like stay somewhere just clicking your uh shear so if you want what if you want these for decoration um these are farmable they are really renewable so it's um yeah shouldn't be a problem and they look actually pretty cool they're kind of like vines but kind of for the ground like if i get something like uh podzel let's get some podzel in here um, if I put some, uh, lichen on it, um, yeah, that kind of looks, that kind of looks cool. It's kind of a, kind of a mossy thing. Maybe with the, uh, maybe if I put it on one of these spruce trees over here. They kind of look like, uh, snowy vines or something like that. So if it's, uh, kind of a Christmassy area, um, you could kind of mix these in with the vines or just replace them entirely, um, to kind of make it look like snow. So yeah, if I just put it on all these leaves, it kind of makes them look really snowy and cool. So this would definitely work for, you know, Christmas area or something like that. That's a really cool idea. Also, these can be waterlogged, so you can use them underwater as well. Also, uh, one more thing about glow squids, just like normal squids, if you put them in a tank with a bunch of axolotls, then they will just completely obliterate it. <laughs> Also important thing to note, glow squids don't actually spawn naturally yet, so just like axolotls, you will need to get them in like the creative inventory or something like that. And then the final thing is we have a new crafting recipe. Uh, if you take four pointed dripstone and put them in the crafting table or whatever, um, you can make a dripstone block. Now, it is important to note these still don't generate in a normal world yet, so they don't quite help you. Like, it's just kind of funny that you have to get these things in creative mode, so you might as well get the <laughs> these as well. But when they do come into survival mode, um, this is an option to get the dripstone block if you want some. So that's just about it for the snapshot. Um, if you enjoyed these, please let me know. I really like making them, um, and I do plan on making some in the future, but it's just nice to know that people like watching my videos. <laughs> With the few views I have, it's nice to, you know, read comments and kind of talk to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. 
enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!